Hello, I'm Scott Kennedy, owner of Light Path to Wellness. I'm excited today to announce that we finally got our first uh, pulse panel in. This has been in the works for almost a year now. So not only is this pulsed, it is also continuous wave. The pulse frequencies have specific presets in them as well. It also allows you to switch between red, near infrared, or to have them both simultaneous. We have two styles. We have the pulsed tabletop that comes in two wavelengths, 660 and 850. And we also have the large version that comes in 660 and 850, as well as the multi-wave. So five wavelengths, 620, 660, 810, 850, and 930. So what is pulsed? In simple terms, pulse is just the turning on and off of light. It gets a lot more specific in that in how long is it turned on and for how long is it turned off. Uh, the pulsing can range anywhere from one up to 10,000 pulses per second. The other panels on the market are continuous wave, simply meaning the light stays on always. So let's delve into the science. Why is it that pulse is better than continuous wave. One recent study on rabbit brain showed that with continuous wave, we saw a 42% increase in ATP production. With the pulse study, we saw an increase of 150% increase in ATP production, which is the power that comes from the mitochondria of the cells. In other studies, pulsing has been shown to be beneficial for bone stimulation, wound healing, nerve regeneration, stroke, and overall brain health. So what is actually going on in the body that makes pulsing light beneficial to continuous wave? Right now we have a few theories, and these theories are not mutually exclusive. The first is nitric oxide disassociation. As light enters the body into the cell, and specifically the mitochondria, it unbinds nitric oxide from the mitochondria, allowing it to absorb oxygen and then to produce more ATP, which is the power that we need for all of our functions in life. The problem is, is that nitric oxide can rebind to that same mitochondria thus inhibiting the future production of ATP. But with pulse light, it creates a constant on-off stimulation that keeps that nitric oxide from being able to rebind with that mitochondria. That allows the mitochondria to produce more ATP, which is what our body needs to function healthy. The second is ion channels. Our ion channels like sodium, calcium, potassium, have valves that open and close. If those get clogged up, we end up in an unhealthy state. What light can do is keep those valves open so that those channels are constantly moving and allowing us to be healthier and more resistant to certain viruses, bacteria, toxins. Third is resonance. Everything in life vibrates from the table to our cells. Unhealthy cells, we know, vibrate less than their healthy counterparts. If we can put pulsed light at specific frequencies, we can raise that level of vibration within those cells to make it more resistant to certain damaging effects. Over time, unhealthy cells will lead to a decline in our overall health. Specific frequencies from pulsing can resonate with these cells, helping to bring their frequency to a higher level and thus allow to, them to better fight off certain diseases and ailments and create and maintain a healthier environment. A good example of this that we can study is brain waves. We know that brain waves go from 1 to 40 hertz. That depends on age, it depends on the health, and depends whether we're in an alert state or we're sleeping. A healthy adult that is awake and alert has a brain frequency of 40 hertz. So it's no surprise that the research has shown very positive results for pulsing light at 40 hertz. So now let's go over the specific frequencies found in the light path LED panel. Now, keep in mind that all this has presets 
We've also allowed you to choose any frequencies between one and 10,000. As we know, research is continuing to grow and we're gonna find other specific frequencies that are going to benefit specific ailments. So the first three frequencies are 2.5, 10, and 40. These are based on a lot of research that has been done already that shows positive effects with these specific frequencies. The next seven frequencies are the Noget frequencies. Paul Noget is a French neurologist back in the 70s who came up with the specific wavelengths that he saw have noticeable effect on the body. So 73 resonates with the subcortical areas of the brain. This is ideal for depression, headaches, as well as chronic pains. 147 resonates with the cerebral cortex. So this is ideal for brain activity, such as memory, creativity, psychological issues. It's also considered a universal frequency as it's so good for decreasing inflammation. 294 resonates with the ectoderm or the outermost layer of the skin. This is ideal for skin ailments as well as nerve. 587 resonates with endoderm, our innermost tissues, such as organs, namely the gut nutritional type issues. It also helps us get into a parasympathetic, which is our relaxation state. 1174 resonates with mesoderm or middle tissue. This is the connective tissue, muscle, bone, cartilage, anything to do with mobility. 2349 resonates with coordination of the left and right brain. This is both for physical coordination as well as thought coordination. 2698 resonates with the nervous system and helps reduce pain. So now, how to operate the light path panel. You have the display and you have a remote. On the right side is time. This will go in 10 and then five minute increments. Beside that is power. Power will turn on the panel, but it also allows you to move from near infrared only to red only, to simultaneously near infrared and red. Beside is mode. Mode will change from continuous wave to pulsed mode. Frequency will then allow you to go through the specific preset or it'll allow you to program in an individual preset that you want. For more information on red light therapy, or to purchase our Pulse panel or one of our many other LED panels, visit us at lightpathled.com. See you soon.